Do you know that hackers can clone any login page you trust? Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Netflix, PayPal, and so on and so forth. In this video, I'll show you how scary it is and tell you exactly how you can protect yourself online. I'm a cybersecurity professional, and I'm here to reduce your attack surface. Kindly follow, kindly subscribe. Let's dive right into it. Already cloned the repository, so now let's go into the cloned um, directory. Now that we are in, um, let me run bash then. Boom, <laughs> here we are. You have over, um, probably let's say 35 different um, ways in which a malicious actor could actually employ this. You can see uh, Google, Microsoft, PayPal, uh, Yahoo, Dropbox, and so on and so forth. So let me opt for Google. Um, uh, let me opt for Gmail, new login page. And um, let me go with Cloudflare because I think Cloudflare would actually give us HTTPS and with HTTPS, I'm using it intentionally just to show you that a domain could actually have that padlock, could actually have HTTPS and it is still being employed for malicious purposes by malicious actors. So now we've got the URL. Um, I'll copy this URL and put it in our browser. And um, let me paste it here. Boom, this is Gmail. This is the login page for Gmail. As you can see, this is exactly what the login page for Gmail. Let's assume the user isn't aware and sees this um, web page. The user will definitely impute his login details or her login details with the intent that he or she is actually accessing the exact Gmail page that he or she is actually used to. But this is definitely um, not from Gmail, not from Google. So as you can see, I've put in cyberawarenessartificial.com as the email and I've put in gibberish. Now you can see it has redirected me to the actual Gmail. And when you look here, you can see the email address and the password that was used. So this is exactly how malicious actors uh, could get to people. And so here's how to avoid falling for this every single time. Number one, check the URL, not the design. Don't just go by the design. As you can see in the, in the, in the demonstration I made, um, the domain, it was actually showing exactly the Gmail design. And if you aren't being careful, or if someone isn't being careful, he or she could fall for such traps. So if the domain is wrong, the page is fake. Everything else is, you know, might look perfect. But if the domain is wrong, it's definitely fake. So don't just go by the design, right? Number two, never log in from links. Open the real website manually or through your browser. All right. Number three, use a password manager. It won't auto fill passwords on fake websites. All right. Number four, enable multi factor authentication. Even if the attacker steals your password, MFA blocks them right on their tracks. Just imagine that we have MFA turned on for our Gmail and from this demonstration, and the attacker just tries to log in, he can gain access to it. All right. Number five, be suspicious of urgency. Even if an attacker or even if um, an attacker, you know, tries to prompt you and tries to tell you that, okay, you need to do this as swift as possible. Real companies don't threaten to close your account. They don't threaten to do that. All right. So keep this in mind. I hope you found this video useful. Please kindly follow, kindly subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.